Hello, uh, trading has closed on October 16th, 2023. We always start with our disclaimer. We go over our calls and then we make some predictions for tomorrow. This is my trading plan for tomorrow, which is the 17th of October. I'm probably not going to be doing any trading. I had unexpected personal business this week. I'm just not going to have much time to trade or to analyze this whole week. Even when I do have time, my calls can be completely wrong and all trades should be made at your own risk. Fortunately, we have some great analysis tomorrow from Rod and David. It's all free. Follow the rules. No credit card. There's no credit card required. It's just good luck that he was uh, offering this free trial and I'm going to be occupied during the day. Well, here's what we said yesterday. We said the signals were mixed. Commonest thing was a gap and prop move outside the day's range. We certainly had the gap and here's the move outside yesterday's range. We got that. We said there was a volume spike in futures. We had a wave count with ending diagonal triangle as well with an ABC with A equal to C. The counts don't have to be right, but this one worked as if it, as if it were correct. We said it was possible we move sharply higher at the open, which we did. And that overcame negative indicators that we had. We said if it didn't happen, we should see lower prices, but it happened and it was obvious before the open. So all those negative indicators were overcome and we got the prop move outside the day's range. So that one worked and the wave count most likely was correct. Only MJT signal during the day was a MJT sell signal in the afternoon, but the, min the minimum target printed immediately and there was no requirement to go any, any lower than we did. Well, so what happens now? We had this drop, we had this big rally, the dotted line is the close, closes under all these highs, under this high, and under this high. Now time doesn't run out until tomorrow's open, but so far at least that's just backing and filling. It's a rally which didn't accomplish anything. We also have resistance from the 50-day moving average. And we have resistance from this trend line and the Fibonacci grid, which happens to coincide with these, with these uh, higher lows. So we have a strong rally into resistance, which stopped. Now time has not run out. And if we gap up firmly enough, or gap and move over these highs fast, you could still continue higher. But if not, if we don't get a gap and move over these highs, there's a good chance that this move up ran out of steam and that we're going to see lower prices. Won't know if we get this gap until the open. So tomorrow's pattern has a really high, regardless of where we open. Typically it's a bearish day with a low in the final hour, but if it's strong, more strength should follow in days to come. Today's rally hit its target. The target was uh, the target of a um, ending diagonal triangle is to retrace to the origin, which we did. But it couldn't, it couldn't clear intraday highs, nor yesterday's highs, or the day before's highs for that matter. So far at least, you know, time runs out early tomorrow, but so far at least, this is just backing and filling with stalling at resistance. And if, if we gap and promptly clear the highs of the recent consolidation, we could still keep the rally going. Otherwise, I think we see lower prices, even if we don't close lower. Once again, I had unexpected personal business. I couldn't watch the market carefully all day. I didn't have much time to analyze and probably won't have much time to analyze this whole week. I'll try to do as good a job as I can, but um, I'm always more confident in my analysis when I have more time to look at stuff. 
Sometimes I get a feeling which I just can't get this whole week. So we got the rally we thought we'd get if we get the gap up, the targets to overcome this. That's the target. It's also resistance. So we've stalled the resistance. Either you break through early or we should see lower prices. It's the pattern with the early high and that's today's call.